Hey, Tommy and Eddie, the Skit Guys here. You've got questions. We do not have answers. So we're going to make them up. Welcome back to another episode of Ask Tommy and Eddie. I'm Tommy. I'm Eddie. What you eating there, buddy? Sorry, it was a carrot. I'm oh. a very healthy eater. We are here on this episode, and so is our intern. You want to wave and say hi? You don't need to put your hand. You don't. I, we uh, we have our first question, or maybe it's a viewer comment. Which is it? We'll see. Help us not viewer comment. I don't want to do viewer comments. It's a viewer comment. <laughs> on Cody? Cody? Yeah. Who you called? Cody. Oh. Is that his name? Cody? Yeah. His name's Caleb. It says this. Jessica writes, that's awesome, James Cody. I'm so happy for you. I honestly believe that you are their number one fan. No, okay, hold on. Can I read this one? Yeah. I'm going to read it like Jessica. Okay, 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 go ahead. Okay. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> James Cody! I'm so happy for you! She's, you're really abusing the exclamation mark, just so you know. There's a lot, of them. a lot of them. I honestly believe you are their number one fan. Oh, in BTW, skit guys, I finally tried goulash, and it was quite delicious. Smiley face. Thanks for all you guys do. And I know you get this from practically everyone, but you guys should come speak for our youth rally in Kauai. I'm in. I'm in. I'm sorry I made fun of you. I didn't hear the ocean spray in the background. <laughs> and then she says, I guess Kauai Island Ministries youth would talk to you if you're interested, or I'm should interested. I have them contact you? Please. Anyway, Both. thanks again. We'll be there. Hey, we're going to be out there at some point, are we? We are now. I think we're going, going out Hawaii. there in October. We're so. going to Hawaii. Hello. <laughs> I guess he's not going to Hawaii. Irish. Aye. Oh. Aye. Hi, guys. Do you need to read it with an accent? I, I don't know if I could. Yeah, you got it. Come on. No, I can't. Just do no, it. I can't. Please. No, I don't want Please. to. I'm 29 years old, and everyone is asking me for my pot of gold. <laughs> and everyone is asking for me lucky charms. And everyone is asking for me red hair. I'm 29 years old, and everyone is asking me why, I'm, why I am single. I have no boyfriend and never dated before. How can I answer this in the most diplomatic way possible? And at the same time, basically saying for them to mind their own business. Thank you, God bless you. The best answer is if they're not, if it's not some, you know, nice, handsome guy asking you, just tell them it's none of their business. Just look at them and be like, it's none of your business. You want her to shake her head like that? Yeah. The whole... And I'll tell you right now, uh -huh. you don't uh -huh. even want any of this. <laughs> That's a tough one. I was married when I was 28. So yeah. I totally get it. I totally Not really. get it. She's a year older. You don't totally get it. <laughs> what you, do you almost get Why it. Why do you keep doing that? I'm just saying. <laughs> You almost I get, get it. being in my late twenties almost and not being married right. and all my friends are getting married and I was like, Oh my, has the world passed me by? Am I right. not gonna get married? What right. does this look like? There's See always anybody? like that aunt or grandma that is always asking that. So Oh, and they sit right beside you on the couch so, and they pat your leg. Who's the handsome young man in your life now? <laughs> huh? Tell yeah. me all about him. Well does he play cricket? <laughs> Does he drive a Studebaker? And does, huh? he, and does he eat butter brickle? And does he like butter brickle ice cream? Because <laughs> granny may be interested. <laughs> Granny's messed up, I'm sorry. I, I think the first question would be, Irish, do you even want to get married? Is that something you go, yeah, I hope that happens in my life? Or is that something you go, I don't see it in the cards for me? And that's, in our, in our world in America, it's like we, everybody has to get married. That's not the case. If you go, nope, I don't see myself getting married, that may be the thing you just say. But if that is something you're hoping for, if that is something you're hoping God blesses and, and, and you see it happen, maybe it's just a simple, nope, just haven't met the right one. And please don't forget, God's timing is perfect. He's never late. He's never early. He's got a plan for your life. Just keep seeking that. All right, next one. Next! It's a scroll. Oh. Hear ye, hear ye. Danny writes, how do you reject a guy in a nice way? Ha 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 ha
So what is this guy like, Danny? Is he a stalker? Is he kind of a close talker? Is he just kind of getting all on your Kool-Aid and you don't want to be around him? I mean... Why are you laughing maniacally yeah, about See, there's so many things that aren't making sense. I know what you can do. Send him to skit guys. Send him here and tell him you wrote a comment and tell him to try and find it. Then he'll see it and know that you want to reject him. Breaking up with a guy is like taking off a Band-Aid. Get Ooh, it done. Just rip it. Right? Just say, no, I don't think I, I like you like that. There's just, there's fewer heartache later on. I can think back to the girls that I wanted to date or I did try to date. And the ones that were just honest and said, I don't like you like that. That meant more <laughs> like going further down the road than just hemming and hawing and wondering, well, does she like me or doesn't she like me? And don't laugh maniacally about it. Ha 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 ha. Creepy. Yeah. So that's some advice and you can put that in your pipe and smoke it. There you go. <laughs> Next question. Bring it on. Really? How did really? She, how did she even know? She's good. I didn't know. Wow. How did she know? Thank you, Chesterton. Oh, are you okay? I think you broke my tooth. <laughs> I didn't realize it was that study. Yeah. See, that was her trick. That Look, was the entrance laughing. trick. She's, la she's, she's maniacally laughing. laughing. Okay, so for this one, I think oh. I'm going to be Chester. Oh. Chester, Chester Fear. Pardon me, young man. I'd like some pistachio sherbet, please. Lynn writes this. Mert Lynn, please speak away. Yes. I get bullied a lot at school. I've tried telling my parents and teachers, but nothing seems to be working, and it's gotten really bad, and I don't know what to do anymore. This is a not worth it joking about. No, Bullying no. is a big deal. It's a big deal. Hey, first off, Lynn, we are so, so sorry you're going through some heartache and some hardship. And there's nothing worse than feeling like you're not worth it. And can we just tell you right now, Lynn, you are worth it. God made you. God created you. No matter what anyone says, you are worth it. Understand something. First of all, a bully is a bully because they're insecure. Somebody who's insecure and trying to put you down to make them feel better. And they're probably a bully because somebody bullied them in their life and they haven't figured out how to deal with it. I remember being bullied myself in sixth grade and I remember telling my dad about it. And my dad would uh, show me Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, it felt like walking through the valley of the shadow of death. It felt like walking down this valley that was just lonely and every day people were making fun of me. Every day I didn't fit in. I know what that valley feels like and can I just tell you, hang in there. Your life is worth it. There is a purpose for your life and God has a plan for you. Do not give up and don't buy into their lies. Also, you might consider carrying a pipe. People with pipes don't care if you try to bully them. Try it. I hate this plaid on you, man. Oh, I don't care. Golly. My good man. Hey, hey, look at those blue eyes. You like that, don't like you? Like Superman would have eyes That's like right. that. They're awful. Think? Listen to me. Oh, you see, see, what I did see the there? power? Listen to me. Oh, you poked me right there. And then I just... Oh, don't, don't poke me. Bully to you, my friend. Don't poke me. Bully to you. Don't you poke me again. Do you understand me? No, sir. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. We'll see you next time. Subscribe. Keep those answers coming, questions coming. We want to hear from you. We'll try to give you answers. Bye.